They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? Hey, what's up guys? Nick here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is very, very exciting as we finally know when Halo 3 is coming to PC. That's right, after 13 years, Halo 3 is finally coming to PC. I honestly can't even believe that it is actually real. It feels like a dream. We've been waiting for this moment for so long, but July 14th, we are finally getting to finish the fight on pc and i just i cannot wait i woke up today and i was kind of just rolling around in my bed not really wanting to start my day i pick up my phone i check twitter and the first thing that i saw was halo tweet saying that halo 3 is releasing on july 14th and i literally Nani? my eyes lit up i was like wait a second am i dreaming or is this real life and then you know, obviously i confirmed it so i just had the best start to my day today absolutely unreal news but to give you guys a quick rundown of what is actually coming with halo 3 because it's not just the game coming to pc this is actually a pretty major update for the mcc in general on pc and xbox so it's good news for every player of the mcc so probably the most exciting thing is season 2 is coming to the master chief collection finally there's been a lot of people asking me, Nick, what do you think season two is coming? What's going to be in season two? Finally, on July 14th, we're getting the second season of unlockable content for the Master Chief Collection. I am so excited and so ready for this. And for all of you people out there that maybe haven't completed season one yet, haven't got all your Reach armor just yet, don't worry, that will stay there. That will still be unlockable even when season two comes out. So don't feel like you have to rush and get to tier 100 before July 14th. That'll still be there after that date so don't panic what's going to be in season two well obviously all of the combat evolved you know custom weapon skins and the custom vehicle skins and the visors and stuff those are coming along with this halo 3 update so all those are going to be in the season two tier unlocks which is going to be very exciting to see i'm really really excited to see just how many options there are and also just what else is going to be in season two because honestly there's quite a lot of stuff they could add so i'm hoping for some really awesome nameplates and just stuff like that because i just love unlocking stuff it's probably my favorite thing in video games along with season two we also have the challenge hub which is something that i've been excited for since we first heard about it the challenge hub is going to let players you know log on every day pick a challenge that they want to try and complete and gain experience by doing it this is going to give players a reason to jump on every day if they're trying to rank up gain experience and just kind of go through the levels at a faster rate instead of just playing matches over and over again along with experience you also can unlock items so for example one of the new weapon skins or something like that come into combat evolved will be tied to challenges so this is overall a really really awesome and really exciting change to the game but the exciting news does not end there forge is finally coming to mcc on pc for halo reach halo 2 anniversary and halo 3 on july 14th at the same time we've heard about halo reach forge and all the improvements coming to it for a long time now so finally for all the forgers out there you're finally going to be able to get your hands on it and actually make some really really awesome new and improved maps for all your favorite games so if you're a reach player or a halo 3 player or maybe a halo 2 anniversary player forge is finally going to be out there for all of you fortunately there is no file share system in the game but that is now in the works so file share will be added to the game in the future but for now any maps that you do make can be just kind of copy and pasted to other people's computers so you can transfer files you can still play on other people's maps 
It just is not as simple as a file share, but that will come. Something that I'm really, really excited about is the new and improved customization for Halo 3. The customization for Halo 3 is looking amazing. You're basically going to be able to pick every bit of armor individually from the helmet, both shoulders, the chest piece, and change the color and make them look exactly how you want. As well as that, you're also going to have your little emblem on your shoulder back in game, which was missing from the Master Chief collection up to this point. So Halo 3's customization is going to look incredible. I cannot wait to fully fledged see my Spartan in the little 3D render in the menu. It's gonna look beautiful because obviously my Spartan is the best looking one ever, okay? There's just no debate there. Lastly, we have a brand new skull coming to Halo 3's campaign called Acrophobia, which is basically like a jetpack skull which is going to be very very interesting to kind of explore the missions and just see them from a whole new way that we've never got to experience before so this new skull is going to be very very fun and i can't wait to check it out for myself and all the different missions getting to see the final mission of halo 3 from like up in the sky is going to be really 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 pretty so i can't wait and just to clarify if you're an xbox player and you're watching this video and you think why do all these pc players get all this exciting news don't worry all the new updates, all the stuff I've mentioned is also coming to Xbox, so it's not like this is a PC exclusive update. You know, the updated Forge is coming to Xbox, Season 2 is also coming to Xbox, all the CE skins, all that good stuff is all coming to Xbox as well. It's just really exciting that PC players will finally have Halo 3 on their preferred platform finally, and crossplay is coming in the future at some point, so we're all going to be able to play together as one big community which is going to be a lot of fun 2020 has been a bit of an awful year so far but july is doing its best to make up for it because we get halo 3 on the 14th but we also get our first ever gameplay reveal for halo infinite on july 23rd during the xbox showcase so i am so so excited for that i'll also be doing a full live stream of the xbox event whenever that is going on on my twitch channel so you'll be able to see my reaction and just hang out with the rest of my community here over on twitch as we get to enjoy halo infinite gameplay for the first time so if that interests you if you want to hang out with me during the reveal event make sure you go follow my twitch which is linked in the description down below. I would very much appreciate it. The event is happening at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so make sure you mark that in your calendar and come by my Twitch at that time. I'll be starting probably an hour before the event itself so we can kind of warm up, get ourselves prepared for it because I'm currently not mentally ready for it. But of course, I'll be putting out a lot of Halo 3 content here on my YouTube and my Twitch as well whenever it does release on the 14th. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for that. We just hit 76,000 subscribers I'm trying to hit 80k by the end of the summer. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility, but with all of your support, we might be able to do it. Make sure you drop a like on this video, but I am so excited to be a Halo fan. There's never been a better time to be a Halo fan. So with that, I'll see you guys on the 14th for Halo 3. And